Hello listeners, you're now watching a second video we had to make because while he was using the computer console thing, Gabriel accidentally pressed the hotkey that ended the recording. What a twat. I did not know that hotkey existed. And bear in mind, this hotkey wasn't like tilled, which it is now. Uh, it, was it was the key just above enter. Directly between enter and backspace. So <laughs> yeah. that was... Uh, <laughs> And I should have factored in your chunky, clumsy finger strokes. I'm a monster. So the number My forearm like meat fingers. So the number we just read off, 11772. I had a plan for a while to make that sort of my signature number, like like George, What an odd plan. Like George um, Lucas has one one three eight because he did THX one one three eight. That's just, not a bad that's I actually enjoy THX eleven thirty eight. But I didn't really end up putting that number anywhere else. <laughs> oh well. So, oh well. Dream was dead before it really even began. Uh, yep, now we're making contact with another ship. Barry! Yeah, Barry's murdered, all Karimba suspects. My hair looks a bit like a brown pair of angel wings. <laughs> Someone's going to come and save us, hooray! Sit tight, boys and girls. There. Yeah. Now we just have to not die until the end of the seven days. Things are looking up already! <laughs> Stuck on board with a psychotic curler. I'd just be sitting next to the food replicator with a machete. That's how I'd, I'd surf this out. Oh, that's a good point, though. Cybermut. Yeah. Now the situation has improved. Yeah. Now we now have a goal to work towards. We just have to not die for five Adam, days. Adam, you fucking little shit who can't do his job and I think snuck aboard the ship under false pretenses. Ha <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Yes. He, he saw the captain. No, oh. you didn't, you little liar. You look 12 in this room. Well, or a 12-year-old That's just a adults. trick of perspective. He's standing slightly closer to the far, to the fourth wall than the rest, so he looks shorter. See, his feet are a bit of, a little bit lower. Although he is shorter anyway, just not mm. that much shorter. Mom, Dad, please don't fight. <laughs> Shut up, Billy. This is all your fault. Getting divorced because of you. You're just that ugly. Yes. You should have been... Killed as you emerge. Mm, just birth right into a bucket. What are you doing? Just making sure your mic was on. It's on. Had okay. This, this Forgive me if I time. can't take your word for everything, Mr. Accidentally Smashes Hot Keys with his <laughs> big prehensile fist. <laughs> prehensile fist. It pretty much, it's pretty much that. He Oops. isn't our captain anymore. Scary music came in. Hey, don't we know that guy? Some kind of sleeping brain picture. Hmm. I wonder if there's a name for that. Nah. We'll call them Gabriel Visions after their discoverer. John Defoe Sprite copied directly from John Defoe from Five Days of Stranger. Though he wasn't called John Defoe then. He was just the unnamed mutated Defoe boy. <laughs> Mongtard. I'm going to call him Mongtard. How insensitive. Oh, he's a little bit like um, Sloth oh. from Goonies, in my mind. It's offensive to Tards and racist against Mongols. <laughs> See, when I was growing up, Mong didn't mean anything but, like, retarded. Well, yes. I mean, no one says Mong to mean, mean Mongoloid, or someone yeah. from Mongolia, do they? Apparently, Mongoloid's something to do with, like, genetic mixing as well. Like, someone who's, like, sort of mixed race. But I don't know, again, we're, isn't that, Mongoloid isn't like, was just something you called someone who was dumb. Don't, like, most people in the world have the DNA of Genghis Khan in them? Um, not most, but a surprising amount. He did a remarkable job for one dude. Yeah, he put the effort in. Like, he was just one dick fuck most of that continent. Fair play to the guy. He got some fair play. <laughs> well, you know... Fair's probably not he the word I'd use. He got a fair amount of play. Yeah, that's probably probably a little better. A bit coincidental. I was oh. outside of the ship, you fucking tit. Someone else is throwing suspicion like fastballs, but Adam's yeah. got our back. He knows we were off the ship when don't, Serena went missing. Don't defend me, you creepy little Man, shit. Man, we don't know who to trust anymore. Some people are really suspicious and then have our back in other situations. These are the last four that aren't. What the fuck's going on? These are the last four. Well, these are the last four confirmed alive. Then we've got one deaf. We've got one whose body we saw, and we've got one missing. And the body apparently is walking around, according to Adam, not a twelve-year-old who makes things up. Yeah. Well, yeah. He saw the captain's body. No one's seen Serena there. 
It's only fucking four. How hard is it? Oh. Just stay in the same. Just stay together. Like that's yeah. Just stay in one room. Yeah. This, I mean, this isn't even the height of the stupid moves the this uh, incredibly stupid crew make throughout the course of this. <laughs> They're a pretty dumb crew, it must be said. I, okay. But it, you know, part of the reason why they're so stupid is that I was trying to pad out seven days. Oh, that Isn't was... that just the constant thing of, you know, how do you make a show? Have the characters make stupid decisions? Well, well, is that, well um, you know, there is such a thing as a plot that doesn't need people to be idiots. I mean, what you're describing there is what Ebert used to call the idiot plot, or a plot that only happens because every single participant in it is an idiot. Mm. Like, uh, in my recent review, I classified the plot of Mortal Kombat X as an idiot plot. I'd barely describe it as a plot. It makes Mortal Kombat 9's story mode look great. And um, Yeah, that was trying to, like, do the speed version of three games worth of yeah. shitty fighting game plots. Which it actually did reasonably well up until the end, and it was just like, and now characters die. And just yeah, that, I hated really that. That lazily, yeah. And they had, <laughs> it, it and they spoiled. Had to, like, and they had to sort of retcon that in the next game by having some people magically bring, come back to life, and then, whoops, we introduced magical resurrection to the plot, so now nothing has any stakes whatsoever. Oh, okay. oh hey, now a prompt. Now go to the food machine. Yeah. Yes, now I know where we are. I wonder if body parts are going to come tumbling out of it. You know, it's funny you should say that. Oh, what of the standard lunch? That's not standard. That's huh. not standard at all. You better eat it quickly then, before the blood spoils. <laughs> Waitress, there's blood all over my food. Well, don't shout it and wave it around or everyone will want one. <laughs> It's a new sauce. It's called Serena sauce. Okay, okay, you need to focus your attention on the food processor because that's your current lead. There's nothing else on the ship to do. Okay. It's playing up. It probably needs some engineering work. Oh, so I should go find Dick Nut. No, when the fuck has he ever been useful for doing engineering? Use your wrenches that you stole from him. Ah! <laughs> How'd it get in there? Man, I mean, he's, he's, he's taken that well. He yeah. just sort of picked it up off the floor, turning it over. Don't mistake it for the hand you operate things with. That would be foolish. Now, where should we take a piece of biological waste? Medbay? Yes! See, that was, the, that was a smart move, because you guessed what it was. Um, uh, yes. Which one Communal was it? deck. There was a second was door. One, yeah. You could always read the plaques. That's what they're there for. That would be effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just, it just makes me laugh out of context. Hey, What's <laughs> this? <laughs> Lodged in the vending machine. Which, there's no, it's not like the vending, if it makes stuff from molecule, like molecular, on a fucking cellular molecular level, it's not going to need like a tube that brings. I think someone just came up to the yeah, vending machine and just shoved it. it up there. Yeah. Because they're saying, like, he's surprised there wasn't blood leading up to the vending machine, but the ship has self-cleaning walls, so they'd have all been cleaned off. But he can provide you with a UV light that can show where the stains were. Ah. This is this game's teddy bear on a string puzzle. Uh. Yes, yeah, there are please. some tests. I, should I don't on. want to carry around a seven-handed... Uh, I don't want to know what you're going to do with it. I don't know why that conversation makes me laugh in retrospect. It's like, like it was initiating the standard adventure game dialogue. What's your opinion on this? It's a fucking hand, <laughs> Dr. Summer said. Why are you showing me that thing? Okay, okay, but well, we know where the hand was. So we should probably start our investigation there. How about that? I'll use it on the dispenser. Yes. You know, most people didn't have the creator of the fucking game sitting next to them. It's and a privilege some, that I thank myself for every Some day. of them even managed to finish the game. <laughs> Did you get a lot of praise for this one on Adventure Game Forums? Ooh, it goes into the... Back into the shaft I go. Yeah, I was king shit of fuck mountain on the Adventure Game Forums around <laughs> this time. Okay. That's, that's a wall that I can... Yeah. Hmm, it leads up to that vent. Have we seen a vent... Maybe from the other side. It's almost like a vent horizon. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is that awkward room, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll try and remember that's where it, that's where it goes last time. Okay. 
Alrighty. Going upstairs, gonna find where the corpse bits are. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Look how well this is going. Okay. Panel. Yes. Probably gonna have to use, yep. Yep, let's, uh, tools. It's like you got one inventory item, which is just the thing that does shit. And you just oh. use that for everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of... <sighs> what the fuck? How, how is your torso much bigger here? I declare shenanigans. Well, this is like a fucking episode of Scooby-Doo. People <laughs> running one day, door coming out the other. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at that torso. I need a nap. Oh. Yeah, we were found next to bloody... We've, we've been found next to all the bloody corpses. So we're being wrongly accused. Didn't Just... we have the conversation about me being outside when Serena went missing? Well, perhaps we'll uh, address that point. But th again, this is a parallel with something that happened in five days, if you'll remember. Yes. Yeah, we seem to have been closely involved in the discovery of bodies. It's almost as if we were the only person investigating this fucking I, thing. Yeah. As a 12-year-old, you... You know, a corpse and a dude who's alone with a severed hand. You know what? Leave me in here. Good. I feel safe in here. <laughs> like, no, no one's, one's going to get me through here. Nothing. Well, unfortunately, I'm fine. the lever to deactivate the force field is right there. And uh, there's, there doesn't seem to be any sort of passcode required. Let's see if the towel rail can melt Let, steel beams. Let's just rattle the towel rail along the bars. I'm sure that'll help. Uh, you might want to save here, actually. I will take your counsel. Because uh, I know something potentially fatal happens later. I'm just not sure what triggers it. Mm, all right. Potential. Why it doesn't work for some weird reason? Potential fatal. Potential or you just fatal. didn't press it solidly enough. Well, I'm scared to hit your thing now in case my meaty fingers shut everything down and ruin. It's all right. We're still capturing. That ah, good. Okay. Well, I'll talk to Robotron. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. It wasn't me. I am Valjean, and you are Javert. Of course. Yeah, not. she's like again. You know, she's just putting all this logic in front of it but again i think she's acting quite irrationally here yeah. and she's just sort of trying to rationalize her own actions yeah no plot holes no worries hmm. yeah she's saying well, I mean, yeah. it's me and you in here and it's just adam and the doctor outside so. yeah who are ob obviously both completely above suspicion yep and it's going to be 4 days isn't it <sighs> you know this was a case of me coming up with the title for a game before I'd planned it out. So I think I, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of interesting things start that way. Like, usual suspects came from just the mental image of the lineup. Well, I just thought Seven Days a Skeptic was a really cool-sounding name. <laughs> it was going to be the name of a completely different idea. That was another Trilby a game. sweet but new wave metal band that you were a member of. Another Trilby game but set in an office block. Like, it was going to be set... Yeah, this is where we throw suspicion about. Hmm. Uh, it was going to be a game about, like I said, a few years later where uh, Simone Taylor was found dead. So Trilby went and tracked down Jim to an office building. Yeah. And then the, the Defoe Wraith trapped them both in there for revenge. But I never got around to making it because it was a shit idea. And uh, Two dudes alone in an office building. I'm riveted. I wanted to do something about space instead. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, she's not going to fall for that old trick, you old... Whoops. Uh, act, act, now. Act, again, quick. Uh, you clicked the wrong thing. Now, get the fuck out of here. Is there a timer going? Like, is he going to get up? No. Okay. But uh, he'll be on the prowl again once you leave the room. And so is this like a tyrant situation? It like, is quite is... difficult to predict where he's going to show up. And if he manages to touch you, it's instant death. Okay. So he's just wandering around. Yeah. That's interesting. Stand in the shadow next to the pipe. 
And wait. Now, bean in one with the towel rail. Wadoosh! Haha! <laughs> We weren't sure if he was dead before, but we are now. <laughs> yeah. You're fucked, son. Now, why do you think the corpse of Barry was still walking around? We saw him impaled. What was that, Barry? Well, that's a question, isn't it? He was wearing a spacesuit. Mmm. Developments. Although everyone else was accounted for at that point in the game. Maybe it was just a spacesuit full of goo. Mmm, possibly. Um, okay. Actually, but how do you know that the person we just saw was Barry? Maybe the old Defoe Wraith has picked up some more tricks. Mm, my mind. You've blown it. Yeah. I'm going to see if you can predict what the eventual outcome of all this will be. Uh, mm. I think now you should... I'm not sure. Actually. Good old peaceful observation deck. You're nice. Uh, I don't think anything bad happens there at any point. You're always safe on the observation deck. Well, at least no one's swinging that around. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, was... smart, smart man that, Dr. Somerset. Psycho yeah. killer on board, but we don't want to get fingerprints all over the last psycho killer's weapon. Yeah, you want to make sure there's as many spare machetes laying around. Um... I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. Well, you can't. Because, oh. uh, in the event of everyone with a pass card dying, everyone's fucked. Oh, well. Well, figs. Okay, so. You need to find the other two unaccounted for guys Adam and Dr. Blonde. Yes, they've, uh, they're hiding from the, the wandering killer. And you have to find where they're hiding. Hmm. I don't need to poop. And they can't be in here because you're the only one with the captain's key card. Ha ha, he likes you best. We're friends. Alright, so I'll give the habitation yeah, deck. We've got a key to his place. He lets us come in whenever we want. We're like that. We just hang fingers out. Fingers crossed. We hang out, play Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's great. Sometimes we have it on as well. Yeah, he says he's going to get me a better job. Yep, I definitely did. I killed the captain. I killed him so hard. The fucking pipe. Stunned the dick. Hid behind a pole. Yep, he'll arrange to meet you on the bridge. <sighs> I'm not going to see him again, am I? Now you have to find Adam as well. He is on this deck before you start searching the entire ship. Okay, would it tell me if he's in there? Uh, yes, it would. Okay, alright. So he's probably in the Dindin's room. Is he? No. He's in the shop. <laughs> Look at the little Freddy bollocks. Oi! Oi, you wuss! You know what I just did? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I scored a home run. Fucking batter up right in the back of his goddamn head. Yeah. <sighs> and guess what? I'm the fucking counsellor. This is fucking die hard up in this bitch. Yeah, man. Except I have shoes. John McClane didn't even have those because he's an idiot. Yeah. And a snazzy haircut. Yeah, I have hair to cut. Yeah. Okay, I think it was down here. Bruce Willis had hair in the first Die Hard. Hair-ish. It was starting to, you know, it was starting to make its migration. Yeah, he had a suggestion of hair. <laughs> yeah. Hair references. Wait a minute! Mum! <laughs> yes, Mum, I'm just packing my satchel. Ready <laughs> to go to school. Having a terror wank. Where did I say I was going to meet him again? Go to the bridge. The bridge. bridge. Okay. On the ops deck. In the, you know, the third identical corridor. No, she's dead. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Good, I'm glad this is a all boys crew now. now we Finally! Won't, now we won't get cooties. Yes. Just trying to... This is all trying to get women out of video games. Yeah, now, now we can be... Safe from there. Evil perverting justice. <laughs> now we won't have to what check Listen ourselves. Listen to their perspectives. Now we won't have to check our privilege every morning over breakfast. Well, hear about their menzies. It looked like Barry, but it wasn't him. Like something was controlling him. Yeah, and let's not forget that. <laughs> yeah, we just saw a spacesuit. Oh, hey, I didn't realize I'd uh, addressed that issue. 
but the sensors never picked up more than four life forms on board. I guess he just psychically linked to them. He just wham, 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 wham. he just knows. I don't see any consoles with a sensor. Getting very disturbing. And no one's picked up Serena's chair. This is, mm. you know, I wasn't sure it was disturbing around the time I was, you know, home running the captain down yeah. the fucking reactor. Oh, that was but, fair. That was a fairly calm day, really. But I think I'm safe in saying it's now quite disturbing. <laughs> well, getting, getting, it's, it's it's progressing, you know. Okay, William's got the key to the escape pods because of medical emergencies. It makes sense. I'm yet to see somebody stare at me with empty eye sockets and um, tell me they're going to show me hell. That's that's how I'll know when we're entering into real disturbing territory. You know, it's funny you should say that. Anyway. <laughs> well, to be fair, you said that you based this heavily on Event Horizon, and I have a oh, weird... I love Event Horizon. Here's, here's another thing people sort of... Great got piece of my, trash. Here's another thing that I was doing to pad this out to seven days so the title made sense, and mm. another thing people gave me shit for. They're not, they can't use the escape pod until a day has passed. Because of reasons. They need to fuel it up and like get it ready. Because Which, you'd never need to use an escape pod in an extreme hurry. I know, that is... You stop yawning, for God's the sake. The exact opposite of an escape pod. <laughs> That's yeah. just a, a runabout, then. That's just a ship. Like, other oh, ship needs to be fueled up. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so waiting on Billy Boy. Everything's burning. Push the button for escape pod. That'll be just 24 hours. Just, just chill, you'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Let's split up. Let's go alone to check on the doctor. Such a good idea. We we am smart. Yeah, we am little Billy Gumdrops alone. We so am you can... university educated doctor. <laughs> um, where was it? Are we checking his room. Yeah, we, we are checking his uh, residence. Oh dear, that won't help. Uh, William? Is your toilet backing up? And did you have a particularly heavy flow today? <laughs> well, we've, uh, we can take a stab at what happened to William. No pun intended. Let's report back to Adam. Well, the good news is we've got one spare. Yeah, well, good news is more rations to go around. Yeah. Once yeah. we're alone in deep space. I'd rather be in a little metal escape tube by myself for two days. And... The good news is we don't have to, you know, ask who will be fucking who up the bum once we're in the, the escape pod. Oh, that was terrible. Poor why William. Did, why did I say that? I want to die. <laughs> please. Please relieve me from my pain. There's blood. And then there were two, quite. Ten little That's Indians. not an appropriate comment. We're gonna get through this. I gotta get through this. Just gotta, gotta get survive. through this. Yeah, you know. Just him and his blood have had a bit of an argument and they're spending some time apart. Yeah. Yeah, that's I love you, Adam's now Adam's now the voice of reason. Yeah, he's yeah, taking there's over. a murderer wandering around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's just continue talking about him all all the way over here. <laughs> And not, you know, trying to... Yeah, I think there's a big issue here with nothing happening. Really? Like, and no reason. Like... I mean, sensibly, we'd be staying by the door trying to, you know, prise it open or get William to respond. Uh... Okay, is there any way to get William's door open? Establish puzzles. Console and Barry's quarters can override security measures. And we need the passcode. This is a puzzle time. Oh yeah, and he can't hack it because hacking isn't a thing. <sighs> now, the puzzle for figuring out the passcode is quite clever, and that's because I nicked it. <laughs> when I had an Amiga, I um, had an adventure game creation utility predating AGS called Grack, or the Graphic Adventure Creator. And uh, it came with an example game that the creator had made called Lethal Formula. And that game contained this puzzle that, that we're about to see, basically. At least you stole it from an obscure source. Yeah, but no one would have known if I hadn't said, said as much just here. Dum dum dum. Huh, that's a surprisingly sarcastic uh, snarky joke. Perhaps more worthy of Trilby from the last game than Dr. Somerset. Brown? 
Brown. Okay, so is the clue in here? Uh, the the clue can be found exclusively from using the console. Oh, okay. So I just use the console. Not brown. Okay, now be uh, careful got with one that. New email. Yes, yes that I'm not going to touch key. till I'm still gonna, capture in progress. Um, pay close attention to the capture in progress. Email. Thing. You have one new email. Oh, hey. Barry's birthday was on Monday. Okay, so we go into date. Hmm. And today's date is the 1st of August, 2385. And Monday was... I can't remember. Well, this is day... What day is it? Is this? Monday the start of the week? Is this day five? I think so. So... Yeah, Monday was the first day that was referenced. Day zero was like the first day. Day Monday was... Okay, so, so it's like four days back, so 30 so days out September. I think it would be oh. July 28th, because oh. that's like the arc date of the series. It comes up a lot... What are you doing? Putting in the date. You're not being prompted for the password yet. Oh. So remember, it's also his 55th birthday. That was Monday. So if we take the assumption that the passcode is his date of birth... Mm-hmm. So 28th of the 7th. 28th of the... S Just put it all as six numbers. 28.07. And then 55 years before 23.85, which is 23.30. So 30. Okay. 28.07.30. I think that's it. There it is. And I couldn't be asked to add any other options, so th there's just an error after that. <laughs> okay, we're done. Doors are unlocked. Let's skedaddle. Uh, that, that doesn't help us, currently. Alright. Now we get to see how much of William is left. Hmm. Do Have we got some intense graphic violent images? Oh yes. Trigger warning for viewers. It's just openable now, isn't it? I think so, yes. Holy shit! Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's, <laughs> oh, there's the access card. Somerset getting over it straight away. So, um, well, at least William doesn't seem to be dead. Ah, I notice uh, there seems to be two white bodies and one black body incorporated into this. Ebony... And ivory working together. To in perfect harmony. harmony. Side by side. Side by side in my freakish monstrosity. Why can't we? Hey, you see, it works. All right, so Williams. Well, Williams had a bit of an episode. Yeah, Williams probably not feeling himself. Although he's feeling everyone else. <laughs> okay, now let's go find Adam's corpse. Hey, Adam. Uh, remember that bad news I gave you earlier? Well, um, I've got a sort of uh, addition to that. Oh, shit. I just remembered. I should have told you to save. Uh-oh. Uh I think Adam just gave something away. What was in the box, Adam? I know you opened it, Adam. Stop muttering, Gabriel. You're a naughty boy, Adam. I'm not muttering. I'm speaking directly into the mic. Yes, you. Yes, you are muttering. I'm sorry, John. So I had to kill everybody before the box monster could. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> See, that makes sense, Adam. What I don't get is why you didn't want to help with the engineering the first morning. Hmm. There was nothing in it, just a welding mask, uh, a leather apron, and a machete. Dun dun dun! And a funny little wooden doll thing. Why don't you, why don't you put them all in the same box? I mean, launch them from different. Like, put the wooden doll into a volcano. To whom it may concern. If you are reading this and the box has been opened, then you must understand that you are in extreme danger. Immediately after reading this letter, seal the box shut again and flush it back into space. 
the evil must not be released upon mankind again. At time of writing, I am an agent of a joint MI5-MI6 operation called the Special Talent Project. Details of my post here should be on record with the British Secret Services. My real name is classified information by my own request. I am commonly known as Trilby. In the year 1993, when I was a cat burglar, I was intimately involved in what became known as the Defoe Manor Incident. I, along with Simone Taylor, James Fowler, Philip Harty, and a man called AJ, found ourselves trapped in Defoe Manor at the mercy of a wraith. After five days and the deaths of AJ and Harty, I was able to identify the ghost as that of Sir Roderick Defoe's retarded son, <laughs> whom I later named John Defoe for the sake of convenience. Not a PC writer, old Trilbs. <laughs> I was able to exorcise the spirit with the assistance of Taylor and Fowler, and Defoe Manor was destroyed by fire. I returned my thieving lifestyle, confident that John Defoe was at peace. Nope. We're in not a murdering I was apprehended Can't trust by the, the authorities and in return for amnesty, was offered the opportunity to lend my services to the government. I took a position as a field agent in the Special Talent Project. This will come into the next game. In the early months of 1997, I was brought news that Simone Taylor had been murdered in her home by an assailant wielding a large slashing weapon. Sensing a connection, I immediately began my own investigations into activity around Defoe Manor. It was as I had suspected. Looters and trophy hunters had discovered the idol intact in the ruins of the mansion, and it was constantly changing hands in the antique network. That's a fiendish network. Bloody networks. The idol was a sort of like Fox. The idol was a crude African trinket picked up by Sir Roderick on one of his many adventures in 19th century Africa. When Sir Roderick used it to beat his unwanted son to death, <laughs> it became the vessel for John's confused soul. <laughs> in the mansion, merely touching the idol would cause a person to be possessed by the wraith, mindlessly murdering everyone they encountered for as long as the possession lasted, usually a couple of hours. Calling in some favours, quite some favours, I had the idol brought to me, heavily sealed in protective casing. It had to be destroyed, that much was clear. Later games will contradict that, but never mind. I considered burning mm. it. Oh. I accidentally pushed a button. Hey, oh, I can skip this. Well, he said he. Well, he said he didn't burn it because he felt the the evil would remain in the ashes and would just be more distributed. <laughs> so he decided he had to shoot it into space. See, a it little, makes sense. No plot little, holes. Little, little ash. No plot holes. Of soul. I love that basically the villain of this is just a retarded child soul. So he was able to pers Or is it? Oh, yes, come back, that comes back into later games. Oh, so, so he was able to unraveling the. Own. So because he works for the British government now, he was able to get NASA to do this. In my head, canon, he's just friends with Elon Musk. Who's Elon Musk? Um. Uh, basically, he's Tony Stark without the superheroness. Oh, okay. Yep, he was confident this wouldn't be found, but uh, since we're reading this, I guess his confidence was misplaced. God, you're a wordy sod, Trilby. It's a long fucking letter. Well, it's important. It, like, sets up the whole series. Alright. No. So has John Defoe Shan't. gotten to the point now of, like, trying to build a friend? Well, you, that could well be the case. I want my own retarded buddy. Yeah, why didn't you believe this, this letter at face value immediately? To be fair, that's pretty much how we treated every other kind of warning like this. Like, I saw an interesting documentary about um, where they're burying all the radioactive waste. It's got, like, a cra or toxic waste as well. It's got, like, a crazy long half-life. Yeah. And they're trying to think of a means of communicating to, you know, if our society collapses and, you know, comes back as something completely different, how to communicate to that future people that this is dangerous. Well, we figured it out. That's a nice handwritten letter in a language that may be dead. Okay, be ready to click because there's a threat of death if you don't act fast pretty soon. Okay, use the lever next to the thing. Next next to the open airlock. The the hatch? Yeah, yes. Oh. I thought having the thing up would not restart, god damn it. Well apparently not. Shit! <laughs> <sighs> 
How's your day been, Gabriel? Uh, you know, same old, same old. Well, you know, it's been a hard day, but on the plus side, I got to see a woman get murdered twice. Yeah, that's that was fun. Alright, fucking... Wanna, do you want to pick that up before you die? Oh, fuck Man, sake. he's got some ladylike hands, that Barry Jahal. <laughs> uh, well, at least we're seeing the deaths now. Yeah, third time. Third time. Third time's a charm. Third time's a hideous cracking noise. Yeah, walk over there, Barry. Yeah. Cheers. Just go away, Barry. Go away, Barry. Nobody likes you. Launder your uniform. What happens if you sake. don't brain him? Like, can you just... He, he will he just, just, like, appear in rooms and the same thing we just saw happens if he walks right up to you. So do you just zap him? Yeah, just zap him again. So we can just be wandering around for the rest of the game? Like, is there a... If you really want. Huh. Smack him one. I almost feel like just shooting him and just having him about. No. Well, you... Yeah, the other guys won't come out of their rooms until he's dead. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, now go and find William. Okay. Press escape to skip cutscenes, but the escape is right yeah, next I can to the see, tilde key. I can see. So be careful with um, that. Um, where's he's in? Residence. They're both on residential. Remember? Um. Yeah, you uh, you were right in there, William, in that room where you're doing perfectly innocent things. Mm. Are you coming out of there? No, I just need to um, take mm, care of a few stuff. things. I'll be done masturbating on the organs <laughs> of our dead crewmates in a minute. Just trying to make a combination, liver and spleen. It's going to be much more efficient. You'll love it. Why hasn't anyone done that? <laughs> yeah. Fucking science. Yeah. Or just, you know, just make like a big cube that acts like all the organs and plug our brains <laughs> up to it. And then, you know, build us a nice metal casing so we're yeah, kind of safe. Something with wheels, maybe. That would just be boxes on wheels. Yeah. Forever. I think that was a character in City of Lost Children. Possibly. But he had a, like a perpetual headache. We've already done that. No, I thought I had to do it twice. No. That's right, yeah, I just gotta go upstairs and he's somehow there before me. Right, go to the bridge, have a chat. Press uh, escape. Actually, go to the bridge uh, and press escape. Uh, Carefully. Uh, not Mr. Push Fat too. Fingers. And again. And again. Okay, now we know how to go back to the bed. Have some fun. Try to, like, you know, recreate the shocking moment when you saw all the gore. Mm. Make an appropriate noise. Um, Other no, deck. Communal's different to residential. Okay, then we have to talk to Adam before he'll... I don't think that's what the blood says. <laughs> yeah, go back to Adam, tell him about it. And then you have to solve that clever puzzle yeah. again. Save early, save often. Yeah, well, I know now. And well, you said it's like you should save. It's like, oh, it's too late. <laughs> and knowing is half of the battle. No, no, no. Okay, save. <laughs> okay. Now. Security card the fuck out of that panel. For Security card, it's lights out. Fist of righteousness. I saw an anime once where someone was running away from something on like a futuristic environment and they had to open a card locked door by throwing the card at the slot from some <laughs> distance down the corridor. That's kind of cool. What was it? 28? 20, 280730. Deactivate residential deck security. Done. How are you liking seven days of skeptic so far? Um, are you big old scared? Can't help. I did it again. Windy um. Pops. I think seven days of skeptic had a better framing device, like. I mean, there have been, like, the whole waiting for the... 
You know, like the, in in this one, the seven days is established, whereas you sort of didn't know how long you're going to be stuck in the mansion. Right. So it sort of just worked out a little more organically. Well, there's that, I suppose. Did you notice that as soon as you came in the room, he noticed the key card and immediately went and picked it up before you could do anything? The reason why that happens is because I didn't want to have to create an entirely stiff and separate dialogue for if you went back to Adam without picking up the key card after <laughs> having seen the gory room. Mm. I mean, in retrospect, there's no real reason why not to have something like that. I mean, it's a, just a fun little detail that people might stumble upon. Oh, right? lazy Croshaw. Leilazi Croshaw. Yep, 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 yep. Now uh, use that panel because you're kicking it with your leg. Use the lever. Oh, too late. <laughs> uh, Either way, it's sucked out. Just... Slurp. Yep. So, um, yeah, the escape pod wasn't there. Huh. What a dick. Yes, what a dick the person who orchestrated that was. Well, now it's just us and William and William's toy. Oh, dear. Saturday. I'll have to trap him in the prison room somehow. I hate those lazy Saturdays. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is not the best position to be in okay you have to use all your counseling skills <laughs> talk to this <laughs> man i'm gonna counsel my way out of this talk to this mad person <laughs> but yeah what it's just no you know what, what have you got to be sorry about it's okay just just let me go and... yeah i mean um you haven't really done anything wrong up to now mm. nothing that can't be explained at least you forgive me, right, John? Um, if you don't kill me, yes. I can't really forgive you if you oh, do, I'm though. I'm so you glad. See the sort of okay. bind I'm in. Uh, might want to say. Because, uh, I don't know if it was obvious, but you're in a dangerous position right now. Red rum! Red rum! Okay... It's a therapeutic massage chair. Of course it is. Ah, isn't what a civil conversation. Hmm. Jettisoned it and blocked the docking clamp sensor so the ship thought it was still there. Makes sense. Hmm. Well, I, in my defense, I did establish at the start of this game that this is an old recommissioned ship. So it's probably got a lot of hardware issues that were later ironed out. Like maybe they maybe later ships even had escape pods you could use straight away. Yeah, that might have been yeah. That was probably a sensible design implementation actually. Now in retrospect, perhaps we should, perhaps we didn't have to call them escape pods. Perhaps I could have just called them shuttles. <laughs> a shuttle might need some time to get ready. Yeah. Could you please undo these straps, please? I promise not to move until you say it's okay. Yeah, I mean yeah, Johnny is. Yeah, he's you know, okay when you get to yeah. know him. He's just a retarded mongonaut who's been in space for a few centuries. If you remember Billy's character established from the start of the game, he's like the, the new recruit who was nervous about his performance. So he, obviously he was the most weak-minded of the crew. And uh, John Defoe found a foothold. Hmm. I like how he's somehow a mastermind. Is he? Well, John Defoe, he's, you know, he's convincing this guy. Like, this is... Well, I just a, like a like a sub leather face, yeah. like you know, retarded mutant that was kept in a cellar. Like, how is he like talking to this guy? He's like, well, oh, retarded mutant that was living in the cellar. The investigators might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, retarded cellar mutant. Yeah, it'll it'll all be blown over. Maybe all Defoe did was create this sort of ambience of horror, and then everything else is just sort of William Taylor sort of. Using his own intelligence. Like somehow he knows that if he builds a body for John Defoe, the nightmares will go away and the rest is rationalization. Mm -hmm. Well, we do establish in later games that the actual events that take place on this ship might actually oh, be a, a thing little on that trolley. Might actually be a little questionable. Oh, fucking 
Can you even click a button without moving the mouse, you fat-handed twat? Wiggle those straps, Johnny. Wiggle them. Just implement the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and again, again. Yeah, I think this, that was one of my annoying do something twice for no real reason puzzles. Oh. Uh, are you? Oh, wait, I think that was. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are now horrified eyes behind a welding mask. Yeah, do that again. Maybe yeah. you have to do it three times. Wiggle it. There you go. You got a hand Just free. a little bit. Now cup his ghoulies. Uh, the, the thing's not there yet. I just got to put it down. There we go. Okay. Just stab him then. Hmm. Do I have to wait until he's back there? Uh, Just stab him now. Yeah. Okay, stab him now. Now, now. In the leg. And, and scar. <laughs> And then Scarpa. <laughs> Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> Just, I love, yeah, so that's the other thing too, is like the day passing system and this is kind of odd. Yep, that was the whole day. We've just been killing time here now. Well, you know. <clears throat> chilling in a tube. It's just part of space. Don't blame yourself, John. Charisma. Yeah, it was named by an absolute douche, that ship. <laughs> yeah. The charisma and its sister ship, the EFS Axe Body Spray. <laughs> oh god, now what? I still have this oh, fucking suspicious noise. Better immediately leave the vent. Oh look, he needed eyes. Someone took you to. Whoa, <laughs> that that was uncanny. You've played this before. <laughs> Roaming the ship with his new body. Yeah, he, he's the new Barry. So, um, uh, this is the point where you should probably save at every juncture. Because the welder's loose. Oh. In his lovely new body. His reanimated body. Made a... That's a gentle way of putting this. You killed a bunch of people and used their parts to build an unstoppable yeah. body for... Yeah. Doesn't look good on the permanent record, yeah, does it? There's not a lot of ways you can... So politely explain this. So tell me, Mr. Taylor, why did you leave your previous posting? Because I'm looking for... Differences um, with I don't the... Seem to, I can't seem to find any references among your uh, application forms. <laughs> I... Oh, never mind, he's dead. Um, Yeah, savey time. Rest in peace, you mad, mad fuck. Yeah. No, it's all right. We're a counselor. We, we we can be nice to our hideous murderers. Compassion is a key oh, part of counseling. It's climactic music time. <laughs> What's it's a name? little bit John Carpenter's Halloween, actually. It really is. Hmm. Or I didn't design that background. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was what I thought. Let's see how you do before I have to tell you, uh... Oh, I guess it's locked again. Alright. Oh, I didn't want to look at the no longer there corpse anyway. Oh, that's the, that's the warning that he's coming. Oh, here he comes. Oh, hey, no one moved Angela. <laughs> Not anymore! Hmm. She's, yeah, retired, I think. Yeah, I think um, she's moved on to spend more time with her family. Oh shit, it was fucking behind me. Yeah, that was make, makes the sequence difficult. Um, Sometimes he appears where the door you came out of. Can I zap him? I think so. I think he like recovers after a few seconds though. Yeah, you never use the cargo bay doors either. Don't go into the airlock, because uh, the solution is not there and you'll just end up bumming around outside the ship. Alright, so I'm guessing nothing happens in there. Nope. 
can't do the hide behind the pole game again. Can't see this, listeners, but um, he's bobbing along. Yeah, I'm bobbing my head to this exciting, fucking into this climactic music. Let's check the observation deck. Nope, everything's still cool. Everything always safe on the observation deck. Uh, let's just live here. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Quickly, Scarpa to the bridge. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. Perhaps we Mike. should. Perhaps if, uh, if you do die, we will be able to see the death screen, so there's that. Oh, bugger, there's no exits. I think you're about to die. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, he changed his mind. Went in there, had a look in there, and thought, whoa, not having any of that. Oh, no, wait, there he is. Oh, yeah, that was, that was the provisor. Fucking splendid. Alright, well, where am I going? I'm not telling because mm. either you'll figure it out or you'll die. I'm, well, you, I have to get off the ship or something. Though. I'm Wait, I'm I've toying, got it. I'm toying with you now. Where are you going? Down to the fucking brig. If I lead him into the brig, shoot him and then turn the lasers on. That's not the solution. Uh, well, just tell me what it is then, because that was my plan. No. You're a I'm, fucking... I'm toying with you. <sighs> Once you die, I'll explain, I'll tell you what to do. That feels like it should be the solution. What, die? No. Well, yeah. it isn't. Yeah. The welder is too powerful a ghost to be stopped by your mere laser beams. Okay. Yeah, so he's magic. He was in that room you were just in. Um, hmm. Oh. I'm just gonna hide on the observation deck. <laughs> well, he'll never show up here. So, yeah, now... Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, I fucking got you, you dick. Go. Uh, you're holding this video hostage. And just yeah. Like, oh, no. Holy oh, shit. Comes. No fucking way. Oh, I didn't. I guess I was wrong. I can't. There we go. Bye-bye, Mr. Welder. Oh. <laughs> well, it's all the screen. <sighs> all right, well, I've died. All right, go to the captain's quarters. You didn't think of that, did you? No, I think my solution of luring him and zapping him with the thing and turning the thing on, I think that was fairly sensible. Fair enough, but it's not the solution. Oh, hey, he's everywhere today. Jesus, shit. Shit! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Some people complain about this sequence. <laughs> you know, in the original release, I didn't even have the you can hear footsteps warning. Alright, yeah, that's... He just showed up and killed your ass. That eats nuts. Is this exact same thing gonna happen again? Mm, no. Okay, use the console. You wanna do the captain's fun- the other captain's override function. Do you remember the code? Two eight. Yes. Oh seven. Oh, Thirty. Yes. Yes. So it's easy when you memorise it in little chunks, isn't it? Uh. Control radio masts. Yes. Just making sure you didn't press the tilde. Nope. Okay, they're withdrawn. Go now, up there now. Yeah. Now, flee to the airlock. Maybe save at this point. Because that's our first. Uh, Major junction point. DDT. Fuck it, that can stay. Okay, you're gonna wrestle him today. Fuck yeah. Everyone goes down to the DDT. Well, not anymore. But Jake the Snake's has still got, still got some power. I hope he doesn't come from the right. That would be awkward. Shit. Yeah. Fucking run. Fucking goddamn it. You and your fat hands. Use the airlock pass, not your hand. Your well, hand is not an airlock pass. Tweet, tweet. He's okay. in the closet. Okay, what you want to do is uh, close the first door, but don't open the second door. Well, stand next to the switch for the second door, but don't open it until the welder appears. Okay, now press it. That's the light, not the switch. You fool. Why would there be two? Fucking... Thanks for waiting, Mr. Welder. Safety. Uh, 
He's a wraith. He's waiting for you to come over there to make things convenient. Now step onto the spikes, wait for him to show up, and walk off them. Ha ha, dumb welder. Yeah, Somerset has gone into Chorby mode, accepting the the occult immediately. <laughs> um, okay, what do I do with it? Well, first of all, go down the steps and then save. And then go back inside the ship. Yeah, Stone Cold said so. Wu-Tang, whatever, some wrestling terms. Yeah, always remember safety, even though you've triumphed over the evil one. Don't want to spoil it now. <laughs> I bet so many people did. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, switch off. Suit on. Are you enjoying yourself? Great. Ha! Welding mask on. Because you touched the idol with bare flesh, you idiot. He did it automatically. Yeah. I'm messing with you. You're not supposed to go back in the ship. Uh. You're supposed to destroy the idol once and for all. Okay. Yeah, you got it. There's nothing, nowhere else to go, really. <laughs> yes. And that is the end of John Defoe. Yeah, suck it, John. Yeah. All that trouble you caused Trilby in the 21st century. I have a good mind to spank you. No, Daddy, no! Don't you love me, Daddy? See, this just, you know, don't mistreat the retarded. Yeah, or fucking, they'll come back as yeah. horrible ghosts. And don't kill lock you. them in a fucking you know dungeon and beat them. They'll, they'll become the cornerstone of hideous occult horror for four centuries. Yeah. If only there were a decent care in the community system in the nineteenth hmm. century, yeah. all of this could have been avoided. Or at least, you know, if you hadn't locked him in the dungeon, just sent him to bedlam or something, so they could spray him with water all day. <laughs> just give him a basic job. You can, like, yeah. you know. Just, kind of just lathe or something. Just tell your relatives he was kicked in the head by a mule. Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's the it's the savior guys from the savior ship. Red hats. Also, Devo. same sprite as everyone else, but helmet and gloves. Off-world security. Doctor Jonathan, is that him, Sergeant? Blast! Oh, oh! I think there's a twist coming. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh oh my twist I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Oh, that's totally yeah. discordant. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of uh, unintentional hilarity going around. Why I did you do wanted... that? I thought it would be neat. I thought it was a cool twist. And I worked it into later games and made it cool, so fuck you. I believe that when I see it. And he's being blamed for all the murders. I just wanted to go into space. Well, now we know why he needed his job explained to him earlier in the game. It does, it does make that make sense, at least. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And that was Seven Days of Skeptic. <laughs> I just wanted to go into space. That, that is marvelous. <laughs> Every time I fuck something up now, I just wanted to go into space. Yes, yes. 
Uh, I thought it was cool. Okay, um, I think it kind of fucks up the general tone the game had going for the last section there. Well, it sort of sets up some future things that happen. Why don't you click on Easter egg now? Okay. Yeah, in the original release of the game, this was the case. <laughs> this is very this is a hilarious scene and we will be quiet and reverent as we enjoy the humor. Do this in a retarded voice impression. You do. You, you're the one with the retarded <laughs> voice impression. It's because of the scary special needs kids that were in my classes growing up. I remember this one time. Yeah, we had a couple of those. Yeah, like mainstreaming is like kind of good, but mainstreaming without proper teacher assistance is really bad. I'm not really a psychologist. I'm an imposter. That was the twist <laughs> at the end. It's just the worst twist. Um. Yes, yeah, so we had like the special needs kids over in the corner, and there's well, one little one that just looked like he was ready to snap all the time, and then one time he just did. He just got up, grabbed a meter ruler, came up behind one of the big mongonauts, and went, eh, 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 and just broke this fucking meter ruler across him. Huh. And he started wailing in this horrible, you know, bass mournful cry, and the, the little kid ran away. And from that, like that was in year four, everyone called him Kevin Crackerfit till like the end <laughs> of year seven. <laughs> Because, well, you know. Do you want to click on outtakes now? Out of there. So, so you like was, coded outtakes was, into the game? That's when I was making the special edition, and I thought I had to pad out the material a bit, so I just put this goofy thing in. No, 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 no. It's like when Pixar makes little. Hmm. I do love those Pixar outtakes. You don't have a line. You just you just kill people. You're pre. You're jumping the gun a lot on this record. Correctly, I might point out. I should have lines. I'm talking to my agent. Yeah. Are you? In paroxysm, paroxysms of hilarity, yet. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just waiting to see what happens because I'm not, I'm not clicking anything. I'm not having to think. This is just an observation. Now. Yeah, well, you're in your element then, aren't you? Cough. Yes. God damn it, Barry. <laughs> Can we just get a prop? No. Cops don't bleed. Props don't <laughs> bleed. Which, in space, you'd kind of think made you pretty safe. Oh, hey, an advertisement for my future book. Although I hadn't... I say, did you really put that in there then? No, actually, I hadn't envisioned that book by this time. I just thought jam was a funny random word. Huh. Well, look at that. Well, look at that. Now, now it is now preemptively it's a, yeah, now it's advertising. Weirdly an advertisement. Now it's advertising for my book, Jam. Go buy my <laughs> book, Jam. It's good. <laughs> Tastes like marmalade. No, it doesn't. Lick it. Try Taste, it. It smells of strawberries and it Every eats people. Every fourth page is scratch and sniff. You should do that for your next book. Scratch and sniff. You page. didn't realize this, but in this scene, you can also pick up the kidney bowl he puts down next to you. Can you whop him with it? But it's a useless item with uh, no purpose. Just a little red herring for you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, cool. it's still going. Oh, this is riveting. Yeah, yeah. See, I have the, the, fun, have the, the thing on your lap now. The fun never stops in seven days of skeptic. Yep. You got the bang for your buck with Yahtzee Crucial's deleted scenes. You get your bang for your buck with me generally. Yeah, one whole dollar. Because I will bang you <laughs> for one whole dollar. <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. Shouldn't we get a stunt man? <laughs> <laughs> I am like I am just picking where this is going at every second. Okay, this is the fun one. This is the last one. 
because it's so it's fun. Did you kill the whole crew? No, it was a ghost. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with space ghosts lately. Yeah. <laughs> Pointing it out means it was deliberate. Well, this was a special edition made sometime after the original version. All right. So yeah. everyone on Adventure Game Forums ragged on your. Uh... Yeah, everyone was kind of down on that. But That's, I'd like to. Right too. I like to think the section that revisits this, like the character of Doctor Somerset in uh, the last game in this series, is one of the strongest moments of that game. Well, I think you know that may well be true, but. You know, you yeah, about the finite enough. experience of this game was just sort of daft. Yes, yes, fair enough. Still, yeah, as I said, this is the weakest of the Dissent Mythos. Yeah. I'd... Full of plot holes, characters acting stupidly all the time. Yeah, I'd probably kind agree of with that. boring design. I haven't played the other ones, but I, I think um, Five Days of Stranger I was... I think Trilby's Notes, the next one, was the one that kind of put the series on the map. Oh, okay. It's a good one. But we won't be seeing that for a while because I made two other games before I continued the Chizo Mythos. Oh, what games did you so make? So that our next installment of the Ego Review will be covering Adventures in the Galaxy of Fantabulous Wonderment. That sounds whimsical. We might have to do that a bit differently because oh. there's a bit of grind in that. I might have to pre-record it and <laughs> cut out the grindy bits. What do you mean grind? What kind of game is it? It's a space exploration stroke trading stroke adventure game. Interesting. Yeah. So you started adding other gameplay elements to the yeah, adventure was, game. I mean, that was around the time I'd kind of gotten bored of the adventure game format and really wanted to experiment as a developer. Yeah. So the next game will be GFW, and after that will be 1213, which was a side-on sort of flashback-style platformer. I'm actually looking forward to that. I like side-ons that flashback-style platformers. And you haven't played 1213? No. Okay, that will be fun. That's, this is all this is all riveting for me. I remember when I went like so when I, when Abandonware first started leaking out on the internet, one of the big things that Abandonware sites had was like legitimate free games. Yeah, um, to sort they of... had legitimate free porn games. I was all over them <laughs> as, as a teenager. Um, and that's usually... how I discovered Japanese hentai. Moving and, on. Well, usually one of the things that they bring up. Uh, as like the generally higher reviewed homemade games were like Seven Days of Skeptic and Five Days of Stranger. Yeah, they were on a lot of uh, those sorts of I sites. I, I tried to download one once and it just well, it wouldn't work. Was that before you met me? Yeah. Huh. I didn't even know you'd made these until like I, know, a few years after I we, got we around. First met. Yeah. It's funny. My girlfriend told me a story that she was um, like not long after we first met. After our first few dates, she was watching like a Let's Play video from someone or other playing a game called Five Days a Stranger. Mm. And she didn't know who it was by until the end of the game when she saw the credits. Then she well, she saw that and she immediately sent me a text saying, you crop up fucking everywhere. That's weird because she was reading the book you wrote. Yeah, that was the other thing. That's when we, when strange, we, when man. When we first met, she like came up to me. She didn't know who I was. And she she asked me out just on from seeing my devilish good looks. <laughs> <laughs> and then it turned Which out she, both you and I were quite surprised by. <laughs> and then it turned out she'd read my book because we were certain it was like because uh, my, my first thought was oh is she a fan because she because you I, mentioned that she had the what, book that's what I thought <laughs> and it's just no she just happened to be reading my book and find me attractive at the same time anyway. which is a coincidence too far in my mind I'm suspicious well let's not talk about her behind her back yeah so she'll probably watch this. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm glad the girls who have sex with me have zero interest in what I do outside of them. Well, uh, lucky you, he <laughs> said natteron, sarcastically. Natteron about them. Free from potential... Uh... All right, next time on the Ego Review, GFW. Whee! Next time on this YouTube channel, probably another Drown Out. Yep. That's how we're doing this. Yep. See you next time, folks, and until then, I just wanted to go into space. I just wanted to go into space. He just wanted to go into space, too. Yeah. I think we all, at some time in our lives, just wanted to go into space. Just wanted. Except Neil Armstrong, the cocky bastard. <laughs>